Well, howdy. This is Eddie Eldorado, and we're live in Coloma, California, at the site of the discovery of gold, right here in Coloma. The James Marshall Monument is on the top of this hill here in Coloma. Now, you've probably been watching all your local cable TV shows. Maybe you haven't. Maybe you got Dish Network, or maybe you watch YouTube, whichever one. You've seen a lot of the programs out there about digging for gold. Well, this is where it started, right here in Coloma, California. We're about eight, eight miles from Hangtown, which is called Placerville now. But this area actually was the very first gathering of the world the United Nations, if you would, right here in Coloma. People from all over the world came here to this small town, which is now a state park, looking for fame and fortune. Some of them made it, like George Hurst. Some of them didn't. And those people are the ones you never heard about. So if you're a digger, a prospector, or a picker, you're gonna wanna watch what we have going on here in and around the mother load. Bye, Cracky. That's how we do it. That's how we roll here in Coloma. El Dorado County salutes you. Thanks for watching. And stay tuned for some exciting episodes from inside the gold mine. This is Eddie Del Dorado here in Coloma, California. In Coloma, Coloma, uh, California, just about 10 miles outside, 10, 15 miles outside of Placerville, on one of some of the windiest, funnest roads you've ever drove on, I'll tell you what. Uh, to my left here, we have Fuel Adam, who came down to Paradise, California to help us today. And last night, Adam and I talked to a good friend of his, and tell everybody what we're going to do today, Adam. We're going to be heading to the South Fork of the American, and trying to hit up some PLM land as long as it's open and we can pan there we'll hopefully be showing you some gold and would uh, we got uh, we got offered a lot of equipment to try out and use and uh, uh, one of the products is uh, the gold bazooka so we'll be running a gold bazooka today and Adam's run that lots of times haven't you Adam yep I use bazooka gold trap often all right excellent so we're hoping to get some good recovery out here the gentleman that loaned it to us he uh, we went over maps over Google Maps he's uh, actually a geologist in the area and he showed us the rivers from the uh, space view of it, and we actually got down to it, and we could see the walking trails, and we have a good idea where we're going, and we hope to get some gold. And I'm gonna, Eddie's been in this area for a long time, so I'm gonna tell you, let Eddie tell you what we're standing in front of, and what's important to the area, so go ahead, Ed. Uh, this is Eddie El Dorado. I live in Hangtown, Placerville, somewhere else. Anyway, what we're standing in front of right now is a stamp mill that was used during the gold rush to stamp the quartz bearing rock which had the gold in it. It might have been micron gold that you couldn't really see with your naked eye, but they still knew it was in there because of the chemical composition of the rock. So they'd crush all this stuff up with this here big old thing and do some other witchy stuff to it, you know, like uh, baking it. And whatever they did, you know what I mean. Anyway, this is a stamp mill. You've seen it here, and that's Minnesota Joe. And so is this. And here's another stamp mill. Here's a good, a good indication of the kind of gold we were getting out of the ground. Was they went through all the expense to build this here machine so they could carry it by horseback cart to their location. It's called a California mill, and as you can see, it's got one, two, three, four, five stamps on the bottom here, and those would crush the quartz coming through. Go up and down like a piston. And it would oh, fall on the table here. And they would mix it with mercury and wash it out, and they would get their amalgam that way. In here, there's a big. Come on and take a shot in here. You can see it here. There's a big rock in here already. And what would happen is these hammers would come down and would just pulverize this stuff. And it pulverize out, pulverize it down to a certain size of the classification was at the other end of the mill here, and that would fall down into their uh, the load their load shaft, and that would be sent off to refining. 
this is how they got the, the gold out of the big rock because a lot of the gold was all captured it wasn't the chunks of gold you'd reach on the floor and pick up these guys had a dig and blast and pick and shovel and carry this stuff out like oxes so but we're not going to work like that today we're going down to the river we're going to do some digging uh, there's five of us we're going to be on the crew we'll give you some more shots while we're there so uh, stay tuned ladies and gentlemen at minnesotajoe.com that's minnesotajoegold.com and or our facebook at uh, minnesota joe and, so. and remember folks gold is where you find it and don't forget to turn your clocks inside out tonight yep <laughs> all right